So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Joyti from Tadisco Learnings and in this video we will talk about Hibernate. Now think about this world, so we are living in a world of information, right, or you can call it as data, right. So when you talk about this data and when you talk about this software world, in software world we always talk about languages, right, we have C language, we have C++, we have Java, uh, we also have .NET. But let's say if you talk about this Java world, we have a concept of OOPS, right, which is object. So in Java, everything is an object. That means if you want to make, an, make a software, you have to think about objects, right? So it, it deals with the concept of OOPS, which is inheritance, abstraction, uh, then we have uh, polymorphism. So we, we talk about all this thing when it comes to object, right? But hold on, when you want to store a data, now how do you store a data? So normally when you say you want to store a data, you might be storing that in a file, which is your TXT files. Uh, you might be storing your data inside maybe uh, Excel file, I don't know who used that. Uh, you might be storing your data in DOC or CSV file. The problem is if you are storing your data in all this format, it is very difficult to fetch, very difficult to process. And that's why we have this amazing person we used to have, I mean we have this amazing scientist, Dr. Cord, right, I mean that's a respect. So yeah, Dr. Cord given those 12 rules, golden rules, which I don't remember now. Uh, so. Due to those rules, we have this concept of relational databases, right? So we have, we have on the uh, on the one side we have object model, and the on the other side we have relational model, right? So we process data, we do um, um, we do all those uh, software stuff with the help of objects, and we store our data in a relational part. That means if you are living in this world, and if you want to connect your softwares or your applications which works on objects with the relations you have to connect them right now is it that simple to connect uh, we have done that right let's say you, ha you have our dbms which is your mysql and you have java on this side so how do you connect your java and mysql so we have we have this concept of jdbc which is java database connectivity so using this you can connect your java application and you can connect your mysql the problem starts when you say you want to connect them in an efficient way, when you say efficient way, what it means? Think about, us de think about developers now. Let's imagine I'm a, I'm a developer here. It is my job to write an application and all those data should be saved on the tables, right? Okay, we, when you say save, it also means persist. So we use this amazing word called as persist. So we want to achieve persistence. We want to store our data, which is in the application, into the database. Because in application, we use variables, right? So we normally store our data inside variables, so we have to make sure that that data goes into table. In objects, we have classes. On the other side, in your relation side, we have tables. There we have a concept of fields, right? We have, uh, we have variables. On this side, we have those columns, right? So table columns. On this side, we have objects. On this side, we have rows, tuples, right? Now it is easy to map it, right? We have class, we have table, we have uh, variables, we have uh, fields. But but can you implement all those OOPS concepts? What about inheritance? What about polymorphism? How can you achieve that on tables? So these people, industry people, they wanted a, a mapping tool where you can map your objects and relational properly. And that's why we have a concept of ORM, which stands for Object Relational Mapping. Okay, so it's, it's just a concept, right? So when you say ORM, it's just a concept. We wanted a implementation and that's where we have some ORM tools. So we have a tool which is Hibernate. We have a tool like JPA, uh, not JPA, Hibernate, Ibitis, we have Toplink, right? So we have all this tool and one of the best tool to use is Hibernate. So as per the ranking, the best ORM tool is Hibernate. Again, there, there is a big uh, debate on this as well, but let's say, uh, it's Hibernate. So if you know Hibernate, you can learn the other other thing as well. So what Hibernate does is it does the mapping between object world and relational world. Now how exactly we, we do it? That will say in the entire series. Okay, so in this entire series, in the playlist we'll be talking about Hibernate, uh, HQL, uh, how to map it and all the stuff. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and do like this video so that you can you can watch all those uh, all the further videos. Thank you so much.